The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good day, folks. Welcome to the October 29th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 7, 8 o'clock in the morning out here. That's right. If you're listening at the normal time frame, today's show being recorded between 8 and 9. We're going to make it as pertinent as we can for you if you're listening at the normal programming hour. But if you are listening live, I would absolutely love to hear from you. So you can give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, you can always send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tiger's Den. Well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on a fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Less Show. Currently, we've got all the U.S. equity futures trading a bit lower. The Dow's off by 34 points. That's one-tenth of a percent. The Nasdaq's one that's getting the hit because of Apple and Amazon. It's down 124 points. We're going to go take a look at what all these numbers mean. The S&P down 20. The Russell's uh, basically flat out there. If we take a look at what went on over in Europe last night, a mixed bag. Uh, well, in Asia, I should say, just across the markets. In Asia, it was a mixed bag. You had the Shanghai and the Nikkei up a bit and the Hang Seng down about seven tenths of percent 178 points if we take a look at what's going on in uh, europe right now both markets both the dax and the FTSE, those are the two that i track down uh, 103 and 20 but it's really what are they doing now gold is off 13 bucks right now silver down 22 cents if we take a look at in fact let's go take a look at what i like to look at first and, and something that's important for us that is uh we'll change screens here give me a moment we're going to go take a look at what does it mean with regard to what the international markets were doing last evening early this morning so we take a look at the Shanghai that's in your upper left hand panel really what we've got here is prices below that oscillator and change line that's currently printed at 37.48 that's either the target or the other target is the breakout level that's at 3601 more likely it's the 3601 level that it's targeting if we take a look at the Hang Seng this generated a TD nine count top yesterday or this morning price closed below that oscillator and change line that suggests that it should target its breakout level and that's at the 24 310 area the Nikkei closed right on its oscillator and change line so we don't have a clear signal it's really neutral at this moment but the DAX and the FTSE those are the two that we're really paying attention to not that we're going to ignore the other three but really with regard to the DAX so the DAX is one of the instruments that tracks or directionally tracks the NASDAQ composite. And so you can see that its oscillator and change line changed colors a couple of days ago. When that occurs, we typically see price net line test each other. Now, so far, it's been a test and rejection. If that's the way that the day ends, that is a bullish signal and that is a buy point inside of the DAX and likely signaling to you and I that it'll go ahead and complete this A to B equals CD to the upside, takes us into the 16, you know, 200-ish type area out there. But the key is going to be whether or not the DAX closes above 15, 528 or thereabouts. That's what the current print is on that oscillator and change line. If we look at the FTSE, yes, it's pulling back. It's back right now by 20 points. But what it is also doing is testing that green oscillator and change line. Now, its pattern is not exactly the same as the DAX. So I'd be more focused on the DAX as far as its signal for the NASDAQ. But right now you'd say, OK, this is going to be a good outcome, a bullish outcome. At least that's the message here for the DAX. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index at this stage, it's got a road's momentum indicator top price of consolidating in essence with inside its daily profile. It did get below the uh, center of that level. It looks to me like the uh, U.S. dollar index is just a bit of a counter trend move. Now, the euro here yesterday, a big move. And the question that I have in my mind is old support 
which would be at 1.169, has old support turned into resistance because, in essence, that is where the uh, uh, euro found resistance at. In the case of the uh, Japanese yen, it has a TD9 count pattern that is in place. This suggests lower price, targeting the 111.20 area, but that could just be forming an A to B equals CD to the downside. So how do we summarize this? We summarize this by really focusing on the DAX, understanding that it has a similar pattern to the U.S. equity futures. You'll see that as I flip screens here uh, momentarily, and that it right now has a bullish test. But it's all going to be about the end of day close, not what the DAX is doing at 8, 11 in the morning. I believe there's about three hours left in trading there. So now let's go take a look at our equity future contracts and see what they're signaling to both you and I. What you'll notice out here, as soon as we get these uh, charts here populated, um, all right, let me repopulate them. Uh, the one thing that you should notice, well, there's a couple of things. Let me just get these populated. It'll make it a little bit easier. So in each case out here, each of the four cases, we've got TD9 count tops. We also have Rhodes Mintum indicator tops out here. Now, my system, I'm a bit confused about my system in the NQ. So my white background charts, Ninja Trader, and they're getting their data feed from eSignal. I've got a different daily candle than the one that is showing from yesterday out here. So the one, if I go back to my black background chart, says we closed above that TD9 count top out there. And the Ninja Trader chart says it hasn't. But it doesn't matter whether it does or it doesn't. What you'll notice here, very similar to the DAX. If you take a look at the ES Mini, you can see that the oscillator and change line changed uh, colors uh, about uh, two weeks ago. And uh, about two weeks inside the uh, NASDAQ, the same thing inside of the Dow. Now, typically what we see when that changes color is a test of that level, a test and rejection, very much like we're looking at inside of the uh, DAX out there would be a bullish outcome. That would be a buy the, you know, people will say buy the blank dip out there. That would be your buy the dip pattern. If you were trading the DAX or wanted to trade the DAX, uh, then as we come into the uh, close out there, if it holds that level, that would be your entrant into, uh, into that position out there. So we're still anticipating that that's what's going to unfold. It's funny, not necessarily funny, but if we take a look at instruments all around the world here, we're going to see very similar patterns to this. And some of those instruments, for example, being gold and silver. So let's take a quick tour about and take a look at gold and silver. And that will lead us into our first question that came in from Brent in Martinez, California. He is up early and he was asking about gold in the intraday time periods. But first, let's wrap our head around what's going on inside of gold and silver. And what they're doing is they are also testing their oscillator on change line levels. Now, let me populate these charts. I don't know why I've lost all that population. So in the case of uh, gold, Brent's looking for an entry point. So that entry point could be the 1785 level. We're at 1787. So we're going to learn some information on this uh, today or for sure. What happens if price closes below the oscillator and change lines for both gold and uh, silver out here? Well, then that's going to lead to lower price. We have to go take a look at those profile levels. But in essence, we've got many markets that are doing the same thing. And if they can pull back, test to reject those green oscillator and change line, unchanged lines, those become your buy entry area or your place to really add to your positions inside the mining equities. But what we'll do when we get back from this breakout here, I'm going to put up the uh, gold charts, my eight panel set of gold charts. We'll go take a look at those intraday time periods here, uh, none of which right now are showing us any kind of a bottom signal. But the 60 minute you can see pulling back to its TD9 breakout level. That's at 1785.70. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. We've got a couple of callers on the line here. Let me just quickly go over um, the, the uh, gold contract, the short-term time frames here for Brent. So, Brent, I don't have any kind of a bottoming signal. There is an A to B equals CD to the downside on the 30-minute chart that would uh, the one-to-one -one would complete at about the area that we're at right now, but we've got a wide-ranging bar to the uh, downside. So if I look at the 60-minute chart, the uh, we've got support at 1785. That's its TD9 breakout level support. No bottom signal, but that can certainly hold out here. And I don't really have much else. It's really going to be all about the daily time frame chart. It's been signaling to us for the last four or five days that we should anticipate and expect price and that oscillator and change line to catch up with each other. That, in essence, is what it's doing as we speak right now at 819 in the morning. And the question is, does this level hold? And if it holds out here, well, that is the buy point into uh, gold, the buy point into silver, the buy point into uh, mining equities, or the place where you would add to those positions if you are already long. So let's go out to our first caller. That's Scott in Colorado. Spring Scott, thanks for calling. Thanks for joining us early this morning. How are you? Good morning, Steve. I'm good. I hope you are. I am. And uh, Caterpillar is what's on your mind. CAT is the ticker symbol. Uh, out with earnings, I believe, uh, after the bell last night. Uh, trading right now at 206.52. It closed at 204.09. So how can I best help you, Scott? I caught it. I caught it at 197 off of a, the bounce off the OUL. Okay. And I was just wondering where you saw where you might see this thing going. Sure. So what it's going to do here today is take on resistance. And the resistance is going to be its weekly oscillator and change line. And that right now is printed at 207.70. So it's going to be right around that level. So where you uh, were looking at the oscillator and change line on the daily time frame for an entry into a caterpillar switch over to the weekly time frame and you'll see that next resistance level if price can close above that then it should be off to the races and the races should take us now we're looking at a weekly time frame chart so it'll be over time but then that would uh, suggest moving back to the 244.33 area uh, any questions about the weekly chart no sir um, okay that's exactly what i was thinking too Okay, perfect. And so on the weekly chart here, folks, what I want to do is come back because Brent had, had a question about gold. And if we take a look at this weekly time frame chart, what we'll see here is it formed a road's momentum indicator top and price pulled back to where it broke out. No bottoming 
pattern here, but the bottoming signal was just simply price pulling back to the breakout level. The very first thing that I learned in technical trading from uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi out there was that uh, don't buy, don't chase the market, let price pull back to the breakout level. Well, here now we use this TD9 count pattern because it's an objective way of figuring out where price broke out. 194.39. There's not a technician myself, any of us here at TF, and anybody else that I know that would have chosen not 194.39 as the uh, breakout level. So this is the power of the TD9 system out there. But back to the daily time frame chart here uh, for Scott, there's really the, the other level on the daily chart that you would be looking at would be 213.74. Now, that 213.74 is the breakdown area. So we just took a look at Caterpillar on the weekly time frame, saw that price pulled back to its breakout level. The question that Scott has and everybody else is, will Caterpillar break out? So even though we gave you that oscillator and change line on the weekly, that and that is the first level of where the battle will take place in the 207 area. If price gets above that, then the next battle is at 213.74. And I would say a close above 213.74 doesn't have to happen today would be your signal that price is getting ready to head higher. Any questions there? No, sir. Fantastic. Sounds good to me. Okay. Anything else I can do for you? No, I appreciate it, Steve. I hope you have a great weekend. Perfect. You too. That was Scott. Kind enough to join us early in the morning from Colorado Springs. Let's go to our next caller. Our next caller is uh, David in New York. David, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Doing fine, Steve. Uh, this is uh, David. I, it's, uh, normally, well, I live in Panama City, but I called you two weeks ago. Uh, okay. I'm up here for my niece's wedding. Oh, perfect. And my brother does uh, remodeling, uh, housing and stuff, so I'm up here helping him for a little bit. Got a couple questions, uh, if I can pick your brain for a moment. Yep. Uh, in phase and then spot. My sure. question, I have calls phase. on both. Okay. Um, I'm interested in the first three days of next week being window dressing. As you view your charts, um, in phase hit uh, 227 yesterday, 59, and the all-time high is 229.04. I'm suspecting that should take that out between today and next Wednesday. Uh, my question for that is, what projection going forward should I look at? And then on Spotify, um, I'm let's looking say, around the, this, let's this, let's the, the 270 calls, yeah. and so I'm in the money on that. But uh, just what, what the next three days, just to give you an idea, the next three days, um, or first three days of next week, I'm looking at forward projections of both of these. Sure. So I, I wish I could. Uh, I wish I could uh, could tell you exactly what's going to happen day by day here. Uh, but right. let me tell you what information we have available to us right now. So in the case of Enphase, it wasn't yesterday's information. It was the day before that really generated the confirmed A to B equals C D to the upside. So it's a big, wide ranging bar, really accelerated volume. That was on uh, October 27th. And what that does, that gives us an A to B equals C D to the upside. So the first price projection, David, is 236.07. Now, in the pre market, it's trading right now at 223.75, so it's pulling back just a bit. But the message here, and as long as price stays above 201.50, the message here is price should go target 236.07. I would say more likely than not, because of that big, wide ranging bar, that this will be more. More than a one to one A to B equals C D uh, to the upside. But whether or not that's my inclination right now, as price approaches that 236 level, if you were to see some type of bearish reversal candle, that would be your signal of at least a short term top out there. So you'd right. want to take that into consideration. We don't have that pattern as we speak right now. So more likely the target is 236 to 261. I can't tell you if that's going to be by next week, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday or not. But that is so your thoughts are that this should continue to head higher. Yes, we're going to move into window dressing. And this has a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. So, yeah, I think uh, I think that's its message. If I take my white charts over here real quickly to see if there was anything else that occurred yesterday on the daily. No, nothing. So Enphase looks like it wants to move higher out there, and, and I'd be hard-pressed to try to come up with something to tell you otherwise. So any questions about Enphase and its price projection uh, so far? I'm good with that. We're on the same okay. page. Perfect. Let's go to Spotify now. SPOT, folks, if you're following us at home, trading out at 287.51 in the pre-market, pulling back just a bit. Looks like we also have a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern. So the B point 
was September 7th did volume of 1.8 million shares, and that was passed with 3.9. So here we go. So let's do the A to B equals CD pattern, which confirmed to the upside. Let's go see where its first price target is. And the B point out here that I'm using, folks, is from September 7th. And the C point looks like it's the low on September 30th. So it's already achieved the one to one area, then with a fairly wide ranging bar. So the next upside price projection level for Spotify is going to be 297.26. Above that, it would be 318.68. The difference between Spotify and end phase is that yesterday was bar number nine of a TD9 count. Now we've got the confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside, a TD9 count top can form on bars number nine to the bar following nine. So whatever today's high is, if it's above yesterday's high, that's gonna be a critical level that you'll watch because any close above the threshold level of the TD9 count is gonna suggest higher price. Do me a favor, uh, David, we're just about to go to a break here and I wanna make sure I've answered all your questions. Just stick through the break. We'll come back, we'll finish off Spotify with David in uh, you know Panama City or New York. Uh, he's a traveling man. We'll be right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So we've got uh, Spotify up on our screen here. It's in a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. Uh, next price projection area about 297.26. And uh, David is trying to understand, hey, what's it going to do in the course of the next couple of days out here? Now, you said you're in the money on this trade here. 
And we again, we identified yesterday was bar number nine of a TD nine count. And that says that either today's high or yesterday's high could be uh, could suggest that we see a retracement. So I would be more inclined. Uh, you said you're already in the money on this to uh, maybe take that trade off at the end of the day to see how things trade out here. You know, because you don't have much time here on this. Is that is that kind of make sense? I mean, you got to do what you're going to do. Right. That, that's that's what I'm ignorant of. The, I, I, I've followed your show for a long time, learning the you know TD9 and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I don't do anything technically with that. I just listen to you and follow what you say about that. Sure. Um, I went because of traveling. I don't have my normal um, you know, instrumentation and computer set up and all that. So um, sure. I'm, I'm buying more time with this. I went out to November 19th, and, I mean, I'm, I'm up. Um, okay, okay. Um, well, because you were asking in, about two or three uh, days, so November's a different November's a different story then. Um, so, so at this stage, let me let me pull this back. What what it looks like it wants to do. Let me switch over to a different set of charts out here. So the next real resistance level outside of the TD nine count top inside of Spotify is up at three thirty seven forty two. So. Um, you know, as long as you can look. So, so in that case, you've got the time. Uh, I wouldn't go ahead and uh, take that position off. Then at the end of the day, I'd want to see. I'd want proof that the TD nine count top is going to, in fact, take hold out there. So I'd probably uh, wait till Monday. Maybe you know, if you've got the time on Monday or Tuesday, give me a call and you know, we'll retake a look at it. Because um, I don't see anything really negative other than the fact that you should expect and anticipate some type of retracement. Good deal. Okay. I'll definitely do that. Um, probably middle of the week, and sounds uh, perfect. Get a little bit more data in your system, and and uh, see where we go from there. I really do appreciate your help and your perspective. I was a guy that called in two weeks ago about Zscaler when it was two uh, ninety two, okay. yes. and you you know we had to, to take out the two ninety three forty, which it did, and you gave me a perspective or a. Um, um, uh, a price objective of uh, 305 ish. Yes. And man, that thing just kept looking sweet, you know, technically. And uh, I cleared about thir almost 13 on that. Oh, perfect. Um, perfect. Because it, it, you know, it, it, it's 317 uh, and changed. What's the symbol, uh, What's the symbol on that, Dad? What's the symbol, David? That was the scaler. Uh, go ahead. What is it? That was the scaler, ZS. ZS, ZS. Okay, Z scaler. Z, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, I, I'm glad to hear that it worked out. Uh, price is running right into resistance right now. Brand new profile that formed yesterday. So the next level of resistance in this battle is 317.02. If it can clear that, then you're off to the races. And uh, glad that uh, my information assisted you with that trade. So I'm one for one, and I think I'll just shut down the show right now. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Take him while you got him. Hey, David, uh, have a uh, great weekend. Thanks so much for calling, and we'll look forward to speaking to you next week. All right, you as well, man. Have a good weekend. You bet, you bet. Uh, I believe there's another question I've got. Let me just uh, go take a look at that. Before I do that, though, I did switch to this nine-panel market update chart. This is what I use when I do the one o'clock update and the two o'clock update. Just gives us a real clear picture as to what's going on inside of the uh, market. So we already talked about how gold and silver were targeting their oscillator and change lines. Those tests have already taken place out here. We see that gold right now is still trading above the center of its. Uh, that's the center panel, by the way. Um, the dead center panel out here is trading above the top of its weekly profile. So that's a number you're going to want to watch today. Close above 1774.60 will be two consecutive weekly closes above the center, and that would suggest a run to 1838. But price first has to take out its resistance level, its shooting star uh, high of 1815.50. 50 out there. But what I was really pulling these charts up here to for each of us to take a look at was the spot volatility. Index. So that's another key thing really for you to be watching. So it's 8:34 in the morning. What is the spot volatility doing at 1:34 in the afternoon? If it is below right now that print is 18.18, so it's going to be 18.18, 18.20 as your target. If price is below that, well, then you will have seen the uh, spot volatility index uh, test and reject it's 50-day exponential moving average. That is bullish for the ES Mini. But even though I say it's bullish for the ES Mini, the ES Mini has got resistance at 4590. The other thing I wanted to be make sure that I shared with you is that the NQ is attempting to form a new daily profile. Now, you only see two lines out there. And that's because the center often, uh, sometimes, will also show up either at the top or the bottom, typically at the bottom. 
That's at 15 32408. So at 15 32404, you've got significant support. Now, it's perhaps that the NQ is going to go target that level. See how yesterday's bar on this chart here shows a close above the uh, prior day's highs out there? If in fact that was the case, and again, I've got, uh, you know, I've tried. Just didn't have enough time this morning to sort this out and figure out which chart was correct. But that would negate those topping signals. Nonetheless, and this is a new profile that is attempting to form. So I'm using my advanced Doppler tool out there. It picks up profiles early. The data is correct. I just don't know whether it will hold throughout the day. But right now, 15,324 is support, 15,726. The other thing I wanted to mention to you is this profile has formed above the prior profile. The low is above the prior low. The high is above the prior high. It's just telling us about a continuing uptrend from a profile standpoint. And that remains in effect unless price were to close below the bottom of that profile. As long as we're here just taking a look at instruments, you've got the natural gas that is also attempting to form a new, well, it did, uh, my apology, did for, uh, form a new daily profile. So its key level, price right now is testing the top of that profile. So when this profile formed, it was below price. And that's a bullish message. And as long as price holds the top, which is 567, then even though we've got a topping signal out here, uh, then the signal for natural gas would be neutral to bullish. If price closes below 567, well, then you've got to anticipate a run back to support. And the support is going to be between 519 to 531. If you take a look at the 30-year Treasury, that's in the bottom right out here. We can see that price did get above the top of its daily profile, but that was only a one-day wonder. Yesterday closed back below it, and now price is testing that counter trend area. So if, in fact, T-bonds are getting ready to explode to the upside, then price should hold 159.18. If price closes below 159.18, then we're looking to move back to the 157.14 level. So it's not clear as to which direction T-bonds, and the reason, because when we close above the top of a bearish structured profile, which is had on a daily basis out here, granted it didn't do it for two consecutive sessions, but right now the pullback is right into where you would expect a counter trend move to move down to. So you've got to really watch the 159.18 throughout the day. Light Sweet Crude yesterday just pulled back and tested support. It is still in a bullish mode out here. Uh, it's got a new profile, 81.24 support, resistance at the 84.48 level. So is there anything else on this set of charts here? No, there is not. So just wanted to make sure that I covered that. Now let's go to our next question that came in. And that is from Hector and the fuel injector. So let me get to the question out here. And Hector, whoops. Hector writes in, uh, happy, fabulous Friday. Back at you, my uh, my friend. NVIDIA, ABC up on a weekly basis. Okay, did this negate the TD9 count? And is this a beautifully strong looking A to B equals CD to the upside? So uh, let's get, uh, let me just see where NVIDIA is trading here in the pre-market NVDA. This is a ticker symbol trading right in the last trade, fired off at 250.58. Uh, that is above yesterday's closeout here. When we come back from this break, we're going to have the A to B equals CD patterns in here for NVIDIA for Hector and Patty. We'd love to hear from you as well. 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value 
or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at that uh, NVIDIA. NVDA is the uh, ticker symbol. This is for Hector and uh, Patty. And Hector is asking me about an A to B equals CD pattern. Uh, and he specifically mentioned the uh, weekly time frame. And, it's, and that's the center panel chart out here. And so, Hector, as I look at the weekly time frame chart, there are so many different A to B equals CD patterns that we could draw in here. And uh, so we could draw the one that you had selected. We could draw others. And so when that happens, I, and I get confused, right? It's like, which one is the proper one? What I do is I, I, I try to get that smoothed out. And so then I go to a larger time frame. And when we take a look at the monthly chart, we take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern. For me, it's really simple. In fact, let me just, uh, let me get rid of it. We'll just redraw that in here. Uh, for me, it just stands out with regard to the swing points. And that's really what it's all about. So for the monthly time frame chart, because, you know, what, do we use monthly or, or, or weekly? Well, the monthly really straightens things out, at least in my mind. So the a point is going to be the low uh, from December of 2018. And the B point is going to be the high that took place on uh, February of 2021. It was retracement, just a one month retracement down to the low on March of 2021. And now what we can see here is that on a monthly basis, uh, price has exceeded the one to one price projection. There's a couple of different things. Let me just simply expand the chart out here. We'll use this as kind of an educational moment. So I would hope that everybody at home watching in out here would have chosen the same A to B equals CD uh, levels out here. Um, and, uh, and if so, what we can learn from this is, first of all, the retracement was only a 31% retracement, so less than even a 0.382 retracement. And all you have to do is just picture taking a rubber band, wrapping it around one of your fingers until it cuts off the blood flow. Only, only, un, uh, only uh, uh, pull it back about 31% and then let that rubber band go. And what kind of energy is that compared to wrapping it around just as tight, backing up, for example, 61.8%? And letting the energy go. Which one has the more? Which one has more energy? Well, obviously, it's the one that you only pulled back 31%. Well, that's what it also does with regard to that C to D leg, right? If you've only pulled back just you know 38%, or in this case here less, what that's signaling to you and I is this should do more than a one to one A to B equals C D. 60% of the time, roughly speaking, you get the one to one. In this case here, clearly it's more. that The second element is the fact that we maintain, you've got to maintain the exact same angle on the A to B as you do the CD. Look, you don't have to, but for those of you that want to master the A to B equals CD pattern, you would maintain that same angle. Because what we want to understand is if price on the strong side or the weak side, the strong side in a up pattern is going to be the left side. 
and the weak side would be on the right side. Well, when it's on the left side of that C to D line, that also tells us about a stronger than a one-to-one -one A to B equals C to the upside. So longer term, Hector is correct. Uh, this does look beautiful. It looks like it wants to go target 271, maybe 314. But Hector's question was also asking about the short-term time frame or really the TD9 count. And that TD9 count pattern, that uh, the, the the high of that is from the trading day of October 26. So, Hector, that makes 252.59 the level that price then needs to clear in order to negate that pattern out there. So that's what's going on inside of NVIDIA. If I pull over the daily time frame chart, let's say that this TD9 count pattern takes hold. Where would price pull back to? Well, that's an easy one. It would be the oscillator and change line, which is currently printing at 232.76. Now, is that what it's going to do? Well, first, I don't know. But second, I don't think so. So unlike when we took a look at gold and silver and we took a look at the ES, the NQ, and the YM, they all had oscillator and change line that had recently changed colors. Well, in the case of NVIDIA, it did that too, but its test took place on the trading day of October 15th. So you'd have a valid topping pattern. Typically, valid topping patterns take us back to support. Well, there's no profile level that, I mean, that's way down in the 206 or 211 area. So 232 is still open if it's going to take hold. But if NVIDIA was going to take hold, we'd see it inside the intraday charts out here. And I just don't have those signals. Um, to suggest that that is what's really unfolding out here. So watch that high. If price takes out that high from uh, two days ago on Wednesday, then it's definitely off to the races to the upside. Otherwise, it could be a bit of a rocky road out there. Um, and so uh, do that to ask a question. Um, is it possible that this market could do, go down at month end and on a uh, Friday? Uh, you know, the signals are there. So it's a great question. Uh, the signals are there and that it should do that. But uh, when I say that, again, let's just go back and quickly take a look at the uh, four panel, if I can find it here, our, our equity futures. Let me change screens out here so we get to that. Um, everything is in place, uh, Maria, for that, for that outcome. And again, that's just nothing more than those oscillator and change line levels uh, that are waiting for a uh, test very much like uh, gold and uh, silver. So if we get to switch over to those charts here, just go take a quick peek in on what's taking place there. And if we take a look at the uh, gold and silver charts out here, we'll see how price right now is testing that oscillator and change line. We've got a rejection in the case of silver. In the case of gold, uh, it's trying to make up its mind out there. So uh, can it go down? Absolutely, because the, the pattern is out there. But it's a great point. Hey, it's a month end window dressing time over the uh, beginning of uh, next week out here. Um, so so we'll see. I could better answer that question for you, Dudette. I think if I knew whether where yesterday's close on the NQ was, because I've got two two different uh, two different uh, Two different uh, elements out there, but if I go take a look at the NQ charts, let's do this. This is a good idea. If we take a look at the let's let's answer let's try to answer this question based upon the information that we've got at um, 8:48 in the morning. So here are the NQ charts, and uh, let them populate. No, that's natural gas. Sorry about that. Let me get to the actual NQ charts out here. Um, no, she's so they're going to populate here momentarily. So Stevie's going to go to game plan B until that pops up on our screen. Why isn't that doing that? There we go. NQ. Let's see if this happens here. There we go. Okay, so the NQ is going to pop up here. And really what I'm interested in is seeing what the short-term time frame signals are showing us. So the first short-term time frame signal is going to be that 30-minute chart. So on a 30-minute basis here, we're going to let the charts answer that question. So what do we know about the NQ other than its weakness as a result of Amazon and Apple? We haven't even taken a look at where those stocks are trading in relationship to their profiles. But here's what I would be focused on, folks, during the day, and that is at 15 591.75. So you've got a nice, on a 30-minute basis, a nice road momentum indicator top. Price pulls back to test the support level. It did that at about 6.30 this morning. Didn't get all the way down there. Uh, but got down uh, close enough. And if price can close above, so the parameters right now at 849 are, if the NQ can close above 15,647, that's going to suggest a further rally. If it can't, and uh, then it may be suggesting that price will tag 15,591.75. But here's the deal. If we see price close below 15,591.75, then price should make a run for the 15,513 level. Now, if we take a look at the other intraday charts here, so that so we, we have the parameters. They're already established for us 
uh, luckily by the uh, charts and their signals and information. We see the 60-minute chart, similar type pattern, similar breakout level at the 15,591 level, the same thing on the 120-minute chart. So I would throw out to everybody out there that 15,591.75 is going to be the key battleground for the NQ. And if that level fails, that's going to suggest lower price. If the NQ is going to move lower, it can most certainly take the other markets lower out there. So that's the best information I've gotten. The other piece of information is going to be where does price end up in relationship to its 50-day exponential moving average, which is about 1818, 1820. If price stays below that, well, then these markets can absolutely continue to rise. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. Thanks so much for joining me this morning here. I uh, got the Dow equity futures down 71. NASDAQ's off 147. S&P is up 25. Let's go take a look at a couple of those instruments moving. Markets lower out here. Apple right now. Apple's trading out in the pre-market, 146.98. The bottom of its daily profile, that's the support level, is 146.71. So at this stage of the game, 
Apple is disappointed, but price is pulling back to uh, test a level of support, the bottom of its daily profile. If that is unable to hold price, then you would expect price to pull back to the 144.01 area. That is the bottom of its weekly profile. It found resistance yesterday at the top of that weekly profile. So 146.71 and 144.01, those are the key levels to be watching. Amazon also out with uh, numbers as we take a look at Amazon. In the pre-market, she's trading out at 32.87 closed at 3446 last night now 3287 is going to take price back below its daily and weekly set of profiles 3287 is going to take us into the october 25th swing point out there and if price gets below that the low there is 3297 so we're 10 bucks below that as we speak right now but if price closes below that level then what we're likely going to see is a move back to its uh, swing point from the October 4th area, and that's at about 3176. So you've got Amazon trading below both weekly and daily, and you've got Apple that's not. I believe ExxonMobil also out with earnings out here. ExxonMobil closed out their session last night at 6431. Price is trading up at 6533. Uh, that is above uh, the top of its daily profile. It's above its weekly profile. And it uh, looks like it's going to go targeted swing point from October 26th out here just a couple of days ago. That high is 65.94. Again, you're trading the pre-market at 65.30. Folks, thanks so much for uh, joining me here live. Stay tuned. We've got great programming throughout the day. Happy Halloween to everybody out there. I hope you get your favorite candy bar. Uh, and hopefully it's one of those big ones out there. But be safe. Hand out lots of candy, that's for sure, because everybody needs some sugar, don't they? But have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. Take care, folks. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. You